Matt Reeves, the Batman doesn't end there. There are plans for sequels and spinoffs, and I think a lot of those clues came from the movie, The Batman. Hey, welcome back to Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. Today, I got to see The Batman again because it's such a good movie. I love this movie. This is a great Batman movie. And like I said in my review, it feels very lived in. Like it's a slice of a bigger pie. And this bigger pie is the, essentially Matt Reeves' The Batverse. And if you didn't know already, this is entire spoilers discussion about the movie and all the sequels and spinoffs that will come from this movie and all the hints are there. So at the end of the Batman movie, the Riddler kind of wins, where he actually gets to blow up lots of the city. Gotham City is flooded. Just like in the comics, Batman No Man's Land. And so before Selina Kyle leaves, she tells Batman that this is going to be problematic. Everybody's going to be vying for power. And we do get a shot of Penguin looking out to the flooded city and probably scheming to take over. Now that Falcone and Maroni are gone, everybody's going to want a piece of that Gotham City pie. But there were a few things I noticed within the Batman film that could kind of hint at future villains that will show up in the sequels. The first one is when they talked about Edward Elliot, where at first Bruce Wayne thought that his own father hired Falcone to take out Edward Elliot because he had the scoop about Martha Wayne being in Arkham Asylum here and there. Ultimately, Alfred tells Bruce Wayne that the Waynes are good guys. They just made a few mistakes by contacting Falcone, in which their price was that they got killed because Thomas Wayne wanted to oust Carmine Falcone. But the name Edward Elliot and that one flash on the screen where it says, Hush? Not only do I think that's an Easter egg to the Batman Hush series, but actually could pave way to Thomas Elliot showing up later to become that Hush character. And in this world of the dark, grimy, detective noir mystery world of Gotham City and Matt Reeves the Batman, it seems like a perfect story to tell. Another thing I noticed in the third act of the film was when Batman got beat by one of those Riddler criminals and that thug was about to kill Catwoman, Batman took out some type of needle or injection and stuck it in his leg. Now one would think that's like some type of EpiPen, but that was some glowing green stuff. And after he just went into a rage and he just started beating down on that criminal. Now when I saw him injecting that green liquid into him, I couldn't help but think that that could be the drug venom that Bane uses. So this could be a reference to Bane and possibly to a larger story where Bane does come in and the drug Venom is utilized. Maybe Bruce Wayne even gets addicted to Venom as well. And that could also be a problem for him in a future story. And the other obvious inclusion of a future villain is, of course, Joker. Near the end of the film, you do see Barry Cogan as Joker. Well, you kind of see him. I'm not sure which type of Joker he is, but his skin looks kind of messed up, almost like the new 52 Joker. He had that really creepy laugh, and it looks like he could be teaming up with Riddler in the sequel. And maybe it's multiple villains in the sequel, as something could happen because the city's flooded, maybe there's a breakout at Arkham Asylum, and all these villains start pouring out. And if you missed it, there is something in the post-credits of the Batman, though it's very small, very little, and then you'll have to actually go home and go on a computer. Well, Riddler does have a message for you and you have to go to the website, but this was his deciphered message. You think I'm finished, but perhaps you don't know the full truth. Every ending is a new beginning. Something is coming. And what that something is, I have no idea. It could be a number of things, including him coming back with Joker. It could also be the rumored owls for all we know. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Now, I really do think this is just going to be in the bat first. I mean, it would be great to see Superman and Wonder Woman, but because it's so engrossing and there's so much to explore in this Gotham City, I think he really should keep it in the bat first. And Matt Reeves himself says it's not really time for Superman just yet. Look, I think it's enough to try and just do a Batverse, to do a Batman movie, and that that's where this begins. It's, you know, I suppose it's not impossible to believe that somewhere, somewhere down the line, they could connect to something else, but that was not my interest in this, and it's not my interest in what we would do in follow-ups at the moment either. I really want, I feel like the whole point in us 
working with this incredible cast and this incredible crew to realize this movie that sort of, I really believe, is a fresh and different version of these characters is to pursue every, There are a lot of great characters in the Gotham world. And so the idea of leaning into that, that's really my interest right now. Not only that, but Matt Reeves is certainly planning a sequel and they are already in early development. Oh, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, look, you don't make number one as if there's going to be number two. You have to make number one as if you are swinging for the fences and it has to be a movie that stands and lives on its own. But I really believe in what we've done and I'm, I'd be excited to tell more stories. And we are already telling other stories in the, in the streaming space. We're doing stuff on HBO Max. We're doing a Penguin show with Colin, which is going to be super cool. Um, and we're doing working some other stuff too, but we have started talking about another movie but you know right now we'll just put it out in the world i'll try to enjoy this but as many of you know that's not all not only are they going to have a sequel but they're going to have spin-offs as well on hbo max and one of those spin-offs is penguin matt reeves talked to the toronto sun we're doing this penguin series and one of the great things about that is colin farrell he's like you've never seen him he's so incredible and he's a scene stealer Along the way, we thought maybe we could do it as a series. So I talked to HBO Max and showed them Colin in the movie and spoke to them about what this could be and they said, let's do it. Along with the Penguin series, there's also going to be the GCPD series and, you know, rumored Catwoman series. But apparently during the press conferences, he actually revealed that there's also going to be an Arkham Asylum connection, like an Arkham Asylum series. We're doing that and we're doing another series that connects to Arkham Asylum. We we are talking and thinking about the next movie but to be honest with you at the moment i really want the audience to connect with this and i really believe they will because rob is an incredible batman connects to arkham asylum is this the connection from the first movie to the next where riddler gets to know joker maybe they recruit some other people i don't know but it certainly sounds intriguing all right have you seen the batman yet and if you have seen it what do you think about all the easter eggs and possible clues to the sequel and spin-offs for the Batman. Share your thoughts in the comments down below.